In today's video, I'll be showing you the method I used to create blank video clips inside CapCut. These clips might be used for titles, as green screens for graphics, or they can even be placed behind captions to make the captions stand out. If you're running iOS 16 or iOS 17, when you open up the recently deleted album, you'll notice that it's locked, so you need to access the album using Face ID or Touch ID, whatever you have on your device. To empty the album, you might be tempted to tap up here, but notice if you do that, you don't have the option to tap on Select, then tap on the three dots in the lower right-hand corner, and tap on Delete All. All the photos will be permanently removed. Once you do this, it can't be undone. You'll notice also that there's a new option. When you tap on delete, it now says delete the number of items across all devices, which means that the screenshots will be deleted from my phone and my iPad, which is connected to the same Apple ID. You can use a blank video clip to make these captions stand out a little better. I like this template, but because the screen is so busy, you can't really see them. Of course, you could resize the captions and reposition them, but you'll note that the important parts of this tutorial happen on the edges of the screen, not in the center. So as a result, I will create a blank video clip and place the captions on top of that. You need to move the captions off screen, then close that project and open up a new project. When you're prompted to add a video clip, tap on Photos and add a random photo. Once the photo is in the project, turn down the opacity to provide yourself a blank background. Make sure your clip is not selected and then set the ratio of the video projects you're working on. In order to do this properly, make sure you have a separate project that contains only one photo in the main track. If you try to do this trick using overlays, it will not work because there's something underneath that clip. In this project, there's nothing underneath the clip. Once you've set the ratio to the ratio of your original project, you can tap on canvas and select the background color. If you want to make a green screen for a graphic, choose the green color. In this example, I'm going to use a gray color. Take a screenshot. Once you've got the color set, Tap on the screenshot editor before it goes away and crop the screenshot so that the gray portion or the colored portion is visible. Then you'll want to tap on Save to Photos. A photo of this gray square has now been saved to your camera roll. Close that project and go back to your original project. Move to the point in your video where your captions begin. Tap Overlay and then Add Overlay. Be sure to tap on Photos and you'll see the photo that you just created. Select it and add it to the project. It does not need to be resized to fit the screen because next you'll want to use a mask. Here's why I use a photo instead of a stock video clip. If you use a photo, you can make the blank clip as long as you need it. But if you use stock video, you're limited to the length. And in order to do this in a longer video clip, you'll need to add multiple copies of that stock video clip. Using a photo is faster because you can just drag the end out and you'll get haptic feedback when you reach the end of your video. Next, tap on masking and apply a film strip mask to get a rectangular strip that goes across the screen. 
adjust the width of the mask by adjusting these yellow lines. You can pinch and zoom to do that. Once you've got your blank clip in place and you can see everything you need to see on the screen, go back to the main timeline, tap the text icon, and you'll see your captions appear. Select one of them, it doesn't matter which one, and simply drag them from the top of the screen down to the bottom over the top of the gray square and follow the guides, the green lines you will see appear in the middle of the screen to make sure that the text is centered within your blank video clip. You can resize both your blank clip and the text if you need to. Scrub through or play your video and you'll see that all of your captions now appear over top of your blank video clip. If you're running iOS 16 or iOS 17, when you open up the recently deleted album, you'll notice that it's locked. So you need to access the album using Face ID or Touch ID, whatever you have on your device. To empty the album, you might be tempted to tap up here, but notice if you do that, you don't have the option. Just tap on Select, then tap on the three dots in the lower right hand corner, and tap on Delete All. All the photos will be permanently removed. Once you do this, it can't be undone. You'll notice also that there's a new option. When you tap on delete, it now says delete the number of items across all devices, which means that the screenshots will be deleted from my phone and my iPad, which is connected to the same Apple ID. Tap the export icon in the upper right hand corner to export your video. Watch this video recommended by YouTube. This playlist contains more tutorials just like this one. Don't forget to tap on the notification bell once you subscribe so you're notified when I upload a new video. Join me next time.